guys and welcome back so as you can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be showing you some things that I purchased throughout uh, February and today is leap year so I hope you guys had a great leap year it's the 29th and I would love to know what you guys did for today so please leave it down in the comments and let me know and we're gonna go ahead and jump right on into this video by the way please excuse this going on I just got back from running a bunch of errands all day and I didn't feel like getting all types of dressed up for the video so let's go ahead and get started with this okay so some of these things are going to be beauty related and then some of them aren't going to be beauty related so just bear with me I'm gonna try to do the things that aren't beauty related first and then do the stuff that's beauty related afterwards so this is going to be like kind of like a random haul because I've been to so many places and we'll start with the stuff I got from Walmart a few weeks ago. So this is random, very random. I bought these ta uh, take along carriers, they look like that, um, because I just got a new job and that's why I'm so happy because I just got a job. and. Um, Wednesday, I'm not sure when I'll be uploading this, but Wednesday I start and I'm working at the mall at Sears because there's a Sears at the mall that it's near me and I'm going to be working there as a cashier in the clothing area and <clears throat> they have like a lunch period so I wanted to have something to put my lunch in which I also have something else over here if I can get to it. There's a whole pile of things over here. Oh my gosh, it's buried. <laughs> One second. I think I'm just gonna set everything that I show you on the side over here. Okay. So this is what my lunch bag looks like. I never had a lunch bag ever, I don't think. I think I've had some before when I was in school, primary school. But this is what it looks like. It's just a regular bag. It, <laughs> it was funny because me and my husband went to Walmart and he I told him that I wanted a lunch bag, and he was like, oh, I don't want to buy you a lunch bag. Well, you just want it because it's cute. And I had to explain to him that I wanted it because it was insulated, and it'll keep things warm. So he was like, oh, okay, you're worth it, I guess. <laughs> so I got this, and I thought it was cute because it comes with, like, a water bottle. And I'll just take this and put, like, whatever drink I'm be drinking for lunch, and then I'll be able to put these take-along boxes with it. So... That is that. A lot of the things that I got from Walmart have to do with my new job at Sears. So, as well as that, I had to get a good pair of black dress shoes. And I looked around at the mall and I couldn't find any that were like really good they were like falling up like they were obviously thin and like there was some at Route 21 that were like very very thin they might as well have been socks <laughs> so I got these this is how they look like okay they've got like this little jewel on them and I have a pair of heels also that I can wear um I had to get a pair of black shoes because of the dress code that they have is that you have to wear black and white for your clothing and so that's why I got these. I figured they're flat shoes, so I figured they would be okay to wear. So this is what they look like. And then I got a bunch of like those 50 cent like leg uh, knee high pantyhose type pantyhose type things. Um, we'll see how I like those. Um, also to go with the fact that I have to wear black and white. Um, I got a few things. Because I have to wear black and white clothes, but I can wear like jewelry and stuff like that that's colorful. And I don't own any jewelry other than like the expensive type jewelry, like um, diamond necklace type things. But I don't, I don't feel safe wearing those because if I lost them, I, I would never forgive myself. So I bought some stuff also from Mama that was really cheap that just had some color in it. And these ones were on sale. They're just earrings and they were like $2 off and as you can see, like they have owls and flowers and 
a little bow tie. And then I have a pair in my ear. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh, hello. <laughs> so that's what these ones look like. It's an elephant. I also discovered something. Excuse me, my concealer was creasing. <laughs> but I also discovered something about my ears. Look at this one. Okay. Do you see how far the legs of the elephant go down? And then this one, they're like really high up. I think when they pierced my ears, they made this one lower than the other one. I'm not normal. <laughs> So, that's what I got with the, these ones. I thought the elephant and the um, owls were super cute. I'm trying to talk really fast and get this done very fast because I usually talk very slow in my videos, people have told me, and it makes the video a lot longer. So, I try to talk faster and get everything I want to say out. So, then I also got this bracelet. It's like a, a peachy color. It looks really pink on the camera, but it's like a peachy color. And, yeah. And I thought this was really cute. This was a dollar at Walmart. I think it came from a set, and then I think somebody, like, stole the rest of the set. And then this was left over, so they were selling it for a dollar. So I got it. And it looks really cute with black. Like, I don't have black on now, but when you wear it, with black it's like really cute and it just adds like a pop of color and my husband said it looked really sharp so I got that and then I also got this nail polish I have it on now on the nails that are literally almost non-existent <laughs> this is the Essie in the color watermelon and I love this stuff it's really cute and again it looks really good with black and it's more of like a summery type color because it's starting to get a little more warm over here in Ohio. Sometimes it's warm, sometimes it's not. And it just looks really pretty with black. So, I think, okay. Okay. So, I also got this from Walmart. Because, if you guys don't know this about me, I love to scrapbook things or create things or do like DIY type things. I am not creative enough to make my own DIYs but I do um, like to like copy ones from Pinterest <laughs> for like other things and I bought this because I don't have a hot glue gun anymore and this one was like, it wasn't the cheapest one but it was good for like plastics and stuff and I thought it would be a good idea to get it. Sorry, I did not just throw it on the ground, it fell off a little bit. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I think that's all I got from Walmart, other than, like, food, but <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you guys aren't interested in the food. So, I'm going to move on to the beauty type products. And I went to the mall and I got some stuff from Bath and Body Works because they were having a sale. And I got quite a few things. Oh! Oh, there is something from Walmart. And I also got this. This is the EOS Shave Cream Lavender Jasmine. Actually, no, this is from Target. Yeah. This is from Target, not Walmart. But I like this stuff a lot. It's really good. If you want a good shaving cream, I would invest in this if you like the creamy ones. Okay. So from Bath & Body Works, I got... Sensual Amber and Spray. They're having a sell on these, I think, because they're like the older type scents. Um, I got the Wild Madagascar Vanilla. Then I got the Sensual Amber Lotion. This stuff smells really, really, really good. And then the last one that I got there was the Cool Coconut Surf. I love anything coconut. I think I might have mentioned that in another video. But I love anything that smells like coconuts so that was Bath and Body Works and then I went to um, Forever 21 and I bought clothes there of course but I, I do this thing where I sell the clothes not to Forever 21 but to Plato's closet I sell my clothes that I don't wear 
like at all. I sell them to Plato's Closet, and then whatever money I do get from Plato's Closet, I go to Forever 21, and I just buy things that I know I'll wear and I know fit me and stuff. So I try to live like that minimalistic type lifestyle with my clothes and and with my makeup. If there's stuff that I don't like, I will return it to Sephora or wherever I got it from. I will return it if I can. If I can't, I'll get rid of it if I don't use it. There's no point in keeping things that you're not gonna use. So. Some things uh, like beauty type products that I got from Forever 21 because if you guys are familiar with Forever 21 they have like face mask type things and I used to never go to Forever 21 because I thought it was like this really expensive store and I finally went there and I looked around and I was like oh my gosh this place is really cheap and it's really good quality so I bought my whole brand new wardrobe from Forever 21 and then on the way to go check out I started looking at all the face masks and they were all Korean they have like all these Korean based um, beauty product like facial products and I was like dang forever 21 this is like where my place to be is and I didn't pick up any of the face masks because yeah they have them but they also had them extremely overpriced because some of the things that they had I've seen a thousand times and you can get them for extremely cheap well if you're in Korea um, and I don't, my husband didn't want to spend money on it because we do plan on traveling to Korea and then I can just like collect it all when I have my own apartment, just collect all the Korean stuff. And I already have a lot of Korean beauty products, like um, skincare and stuff like that, so. But I did get this because it was 99 cents. And honestly, I had no reason to get this. I really had no reason except the fact that it looked like a mango. <laughs> it literally looks like a mango. And they also had an avocado one and I got it and I used it and the stuff that was in it, the product is so cute and it's so amazing. Basically, you open this up and it has like a little spoon that comes with it and you stir it in, like you stir it and then you apply it all over your face. As a night cream, it's really moisturizing. I just thought this was so cute. And then I also got this blush and bronzer kit thing. I think this was a dollar at Forever 21 because it's kind of broken. The only reason I got this is because I don't really know how to do bronzer as you guys can tell. Yeah, I I don't know how. I've tried watching YouTube videos and everything else and I just, I, I can't do it. So I didn't want to go blow my money at Sephora to buy a really good bronzer. I wasn't going to get uh, the NARS bronzer, I think it's called Laguna. I don't know. I went to Sephora and I asked them to show me how to use it and they did it on me but literally I couldn't even see the product, like there was nothing there. It didn't look like there was anything there. So I did get this and it's just to practice with. I'm going to practice with this. I don't really like the uh, blush color and they smell really chemical but I'm using this just just to practice until I can um, teach myself how to do it so I think that's it for oh one last thing from forever 21 I also got these teeth wipes I ripped the box open they were also the dollar well if I stop dropping the thing they were also a dollar look like this they're little like white packages and I opened one I'm supposed to wipe there I think they're a Korean brand too no they're made in the USA they're basically uh, they have like a they kind of remind me of like a finger puppet you stick your fingers in it and then you rub it on your teeth after you eat and it's supposed to make your teeth more uh, clean so you can get the bacteria off your teeth and stuff so that's it for forever 21 I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Sephora I always save the best for last and I only got three things at Sephora because I made a video about the things that I was returning to Sephora and I returned them and it ended up giving me like 70 something dollars in um, store credit. So I thought I would get something else to try. Oh, oh there it is. Okay. And these are the things that I got. Okay. I The first thing here I'll show you is this Urban Decay All Nighter. Um facial spray. If you guys want to see a review on this stuff, I was thinking about making one because I saw that some people were making reviews about this and if you guys do want a review on it I can let you know what I think. So there's that. 
And then I also got the Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper. I saw this a long time ago and I felt like I had to have it. So I tried it and honestly it's it's not the my favorite thing. Like it'll I don't think it's better than my NYC uh, felt tip type. But I still use it and it is waterproof, so it's okay. I'm still debating on whether or not I'm gonna keep it or not. But I probably will. Then the last thing that I got there, I when I got my store credit, I told myself I was gonna get myself a highlighter because I love highlighter. It's one thing that I really love, and I decided to get this one. This is literally the only type of highlighter that they had. It's the Becca. It's just Becca, and it's Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed, and it's in the color Opal. So a lot of people did highlights on, or highlights, <laughs> did um, reviews on this one too, and I was thinking about making a review on this as well, and that's what it looks like. It is very pretty. I don't have any on right now, so I'll just put some on. And it has a mirror, ooh, sorry. It has a mirror, and I kind of just tap some off, and then apply it on my cheekbones, and it is oh, very, very, very pretty. I thought so, anyway. And the girl, she showed it to me, because I was like, I'm looking for a good highlighter. And she told me that this is the best one. It is really pricey. I think it was like $38 just for it. But I mean, it has a lot of product in it. If you can see that, like it has a lot of product in it. And the packaging is just very elegant. And as you can see, it does its job. <laughs> so, and this is just a random thing that I also got that I'm in love with. And it's my Starbucks cup. That's what it's looked like. It just has some, it just has some um, um, cran raspberry and water mixed in it. And I really do love that very much, so. I think that is the completed everything that I've collected throughout the month. I'm sure there's other things, but I I can't think of anything else that's, like, important to me. So, yep, I think that's it. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And then leave down in the comments what you would like to see from me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.